Can Am Spider was giving me the, the failure problem with the, uh, the brake failure. Yeah, the brake failure. I took it apart and, and also the, the motor was uneven. So uh, I decided to change the spark plugs. The one on the left is, uh, is fairly, fairly easy to see. The one from the, from the front cylinder is a royal pain in the ass. I had to take apart the, uh, the thing, the, the air box. I had to take, uh, well, all kind of shit. Uh, after, after, uh, after that, I was able to get there, change the spark plugs, and uh, engine is running fine now. The uh, transmission uh, error code is gone because I did some resetting uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute how I did it now with the uh, brake failure uh, I, uh, I followed the instructions oh look at this here uh, what am I doing right now okay right now I got the, uh, the plug off I'm letting the, uh, the thermostat open and close because when I took the, the machine apart, I noticed that the, that the level of the antifreeze was very low. So I had to put it to the max. And the manual tells me to start the bike, uh, let it get hot, and cycle a couple times the, uh, the thermostat. Then I'm gonna let it cool down, and then I'm gonna tap the fluid. And on the other video, I explained uh, how to get rid of the uh, of that error code for the brake failure? I jacked the uh, I jacked the bike up. I took the uh, wheels off, the front wheels, and also the calipers. Uh, look for my other video. Uh, the calipers they need to be they cannot be bled on that position. They need to be taken off and put up here and hold it with a plastic tie because the, the bleeding valve needs to be at the very, very top. <clears throat> Otherwise, some, some air will be trapped there. Uh, the same shit goes for the right side. First, time, first we'll bleed the, the left front. We'll do the very same to the right front. Okay? And the way to bleed it, of course, uh, there is the thermostat working. Uh, you can have somebody pump the brakes 25 times. Okay, and hold it down and we open the valve. We're gonna have a, a clear hose hooked up. And we're gonna do that until there is no more uh, air bubbles coming out of, out of uh, each uh, caliper it takes uh, it's about seven times you gotta do the same procedure about seven times for each wheel now the rear wheel is, 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 uh, is more pl uh, prob problematic because you need to drop the, the exhaust you need to take apart the uh, parking brake because it's on the way the, uh, the what you call it the, um, the bleeding uh, screw or uh, uh, valve is hard to get as a matter of fact I had to make a special wrench I got it here somewhere I had to I had to take a wrench and, and bend it to be able to get there now once once you get all of them done once you bleed all the air of the system you must do your uh, your VSS does your vehicle uh, what the fuck is that called? Vehicle, uh, fuck. Uh, system vehicle, uh, stability. Vehicle stability system, okay? Which is a pain in the ass. It's way, way the fuck back there, okay? It's way in there. It's a real pain. I, I have very small hands, and, and, and even for me, it was hard to get in there. But can be done. Um, once that is done, uh, we need to clear the, uh, the message from the screen, from the dash. How do we do that? 
okay uh, there is two things I did because I had to uh, change the spark plugs uh, the front one here pain in the ass but uh, what I did I am unhooked the battery while I was working on the bike and uh, then I left the ignition switch on with the battery hooked up to, to drain any 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 voltage from the system then I start putting the bike together I hooked up the battery and uh, before I started the bike uh, I put the, uh, the ignition switch on I turn it on not the bike just the, just turn the pilots on and then a nice step on the on the brake there is two stages the first click is gonna be your your brake lights and then there is a second click wait if you push it farther down that's for your uh, low system pressure LSP or LPS uh, sensor it's just another switch okay uh, turn the ignition on press the brake until you hear the second click release and then turn the ignition key off and let it rest for at least 30 seconds okay and when you turn it back on the problem is gone it's gonna be on the computer uh, as, a, as a history but it will not be annoying on your on your dash you will not be looking at that shit so basically that's how you do it take care